You're listening to Create Wealth Through Franchising, and I'm your host, Kim Daly. In my 20 years as a franchise consultant, I've helped hundreds of people achieve their dreams of building and scaling franchise businesses to create wealth. The interview you're about to hear can also be found on my YouTube channel, where I post new franchising content multiple times per week. Please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and to my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome back to Kim Daily TV, our special guest for you all today. His name is George Grumbacher. Did I say it correctly, George? Perfect. All right, George G. Welcome to Kim Daily TV. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Kim Daly. This amazing human has had me on his show a couple of times. And so now it's time for him to educate my audience about what he does. And I'm going to read his bio so we can introduce him very lightly, but then he's going to take it from there. So George G has been a financial advisor for over 20 years. He's been named to Investopedia's list of the top 100 financial advisors in the United States. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> and, and for many years running, he's the founder and chief community officer of Money Alignment Academy, which we're going to come back and talk about. He's the president of Financial Consulting Professionals, and he's the host of Lifeblood Podcast. He is also an author. His book is called Be Your Own. CFO, a business-like approach to your personal finances. And that's why George is a guest on Kim Daily TV today, because I know all of you out there, you're thinking about franchising. That's why you're listening to my show. You're thinking about investing in yourself in a business, but can you afford it? How do you prepare to afford it? If you can't now, how do you how do you build a financial future that you own and control? It's not just about owning a business. It's about having a plan. And George is here to tell us all about that. So, George, welcome to the conversation. Oh, it's awesome to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Kim. I am very happy to have you. So let's just start with a basic definition of what does it mean to be the CFO of your own life? I think fundamentally, it's the, the whole premise is that there's never going to be anybody who's more interested in your finances than you are. So we need to act accordingly and... While I'm not advocating that everybody acts completely like a business, I think that there are a lot of cues or best practices that we can take from how CFOs manage the finances of big companies and how do we apply that in our lives. So that's what the book is all about. I like that. Now, in this Money Alignment Academy, is this like an online course that you offer to people to kind of like help me get my goal? Like, what is that? What is Money Alignment Academy? So I figured out um, some time ago, long time ago, it's crazy. In your very Karen. young age of like right. 15, because you're only like 30 years old. <laughs> something, something like that. So, right. That's, that's exactly right. I started as a financial advisor when I was eight years old. And so now at the age of 28, I'm, I'm, I'm able to do all this. I figured out that people need a lot more help than they're getting. And I think that that's true across many aspects of life, but particularly when it comes to money and our finances. And I think that that the symptoms of that are that two thirds of us are living paycheck to paycheck. So essentially we're broke. We don't have a lot of money saved up and we are stressed out about it. I think that a big problem with that is we receive a lot of the financial advice that we get from the people that actually offer the products themselves. And so I'd never really thought about it, but that kind of clicked for me not really that long ago. And it's kind of like, would I take or should I take health advice from pharmaceutical companies? And that's not really a comment on 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 what's currently going Integrity. on, but just just kind of in general. Ten years ago, would that have been a good idea? And I think that it's not. And a lot of it's just kind of fallen flat. I think fundamentally, if big financial companies were capable of helping people to become financially successful, then they would have been helping people to become financially successful. And what's going on in the world today just says that they're not. So I decided, not like I'm a genius or anything like that, but I realized I needed to meet, meet people where they were and make money stuff a lot more um, easy to understand, digest, and actually start to close the behavior gap between what I intellectually know and what I actually do. And that's what Money Alignment Academy is designed to do. 
Are you thinking now is the right time to take control of your future and your finances? Investing in a franchise business could be the perfect move for you, whether you're an entrepreneur, a savvy investor, or you're looking to escape corporate America to own your own business. My franchise consulting services are totally free to you. Please email me right now at inquire at kimdaily.tv. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. Now, back to the show. Most people that I meet, you know, they went to college, they got a good job, they worked for somebody until they were laid off one or two times or maybe more, you know, and then they got tired of that. And they, they realized like, I'm not going to get where I want to be financially. I don't want to put myself back into another job only to be laid off through no fault of my own. And they come to the idea of owning a business, but that doesn't always mean that they are financially fit or ready for that type of investment or can afford to leave a job and dive full-time into a business. And so the question is like, so you, you know, you get this advice, uh, go to college, get a good job. And then the advice that comes with that is invest your money in your 401k, let somebody else watch your money, put it in the stock market where you have no control. And this is where like George and I align because we're big advocates of, you know, no, don't do that. Like own that, like build a plan and control it. So when, when is a good time for somebody to have this awakening and come to you? Like, is it, if you're in your fifties, forties or fifties, is it too late to think about this? Well, there's a lot of really important stuff there. So thank you. Um, You know, the best time to plant a tree was 30 years ago. The next best time is today. I wish that my parents would have started saving for me when I was, you know, negative years old or zero or whatever, but it is what it is. I mean, we are where we are. Um, And I think that there are plenty of us who are frustrated by that program that you laid out, go to college, get a job, work in corporate America, do this, do that. And for a lot of people, probably the vast majority of people out there, that's the right path. But for people who are entrepreneurial, who want more control, who want to own their own destiny, become an entrepreneur, start a franchise, well, then it's different. And, and there is a different path for you. And I think that we are aligned in that. Um, but the time to do that, I think, I don't know if you want me to sort of get into that, but we, we uh, right now <laughs> is, is, is right now. Um, and there, I think that there is some groundwork to be, uh, to be laid. I am a, I, I get excited talking about entrepreneurship and freedom and all that good stuff. But I also know that I need to have financial security before I can pursue those things. Otherwise, I'm putting the cart before the horse kind of a thing. And then I'm at risk. And I want to be able to go into um, all business ownership, franchise ownership as positioned for success as I possibly can be. And not that I'm ever going to be free of all financial worries and anxiety, but I want to try to be at least have my ducks in a row as I'm getting ready to launch this next stage of my life. Right. Meaning like not investing like the entire farm into the business, right? Like, but I'm, I, if you're working with me, Kim Daly's not going to let you do that anyway. I mean, I'm not, you're going to do what you're going to do. It's your life, but I'm going to highly advocate for, you know, not putting everything you have into the startup of a business. Because when you look at the number one reason that businesses fail, franchise and non franchises, people run out of money. So there's no reason to do that in a franchise where there's so much evidence and proof for what it should cost you to get to a a positively cash flowing place. And if you're properly prepared and you're investing in a business you can comfortably afford and you have living expenses, this is what George is talking about, like all of these things. So it's, it's very, very true. So George, when people come to you, do you work one-on-one? Like, how do you work with a client? Well, I am, I'm most interested in working with the, with the, the owner of the franchise when they are up and running. I can 100%, I think that if somebody was interested in getting their financial ducks in a row, they could pick up the book, they can just check out my content and figure out what they need to be doing to position themselves for success. I think that one of the big challenges is recruiting and retaining the best people for your franchise and being able to offer great benefits is a good way to do that. And when you look at the landscape of people out there, again, so many of us are struggling with money, that has a big cost to the individual, but also the company itself. If my, my employees 
are having to miss work or they are at work, but worrying about money, they are just not fully engaged and we want them to be fully engaged. You want your employees to be happy and healthy and financially secure for their own families, but also for the future of your business. And so the more we can help our employees to get there, I think that that's really what I'm most interested in doing. So yeah, sure. I, I work with individuals and help them with their personal finances and all that good stuff, but it's more, how can I help a franchise position their employees for financial success, therefore positioning their company for long-term financial success and growing a great culture by demonstrating that they care about their employees and doing all of those things, which I think that we all want to do, but it's not necessarily clear how we do it. It's definitely not clear. I did not expect that answer, but I love that answer, George. This is this is even more exciting for the listeners of Kim Daily TV than I thought. So, um, do you get involved like only at one stage? Like, so I I work with a lot of I have a lot of different investments, and I work with you know different people at different times. Like, do you get involved at one stage, or do you build a relationship like me and my accountant? You know, like where. And now you're regularly, you know, working with your clients on a, you know, annual basis or semi-annual basis to kind of like look at their goals and check in like, this is where we're at. This is where we need to be. This is what we need to do to get there. So I think that, that, that grownups, assuming that most of us are grownups, I'm again, 25 years old. Um, I started when I was three. <laughs> we need certain things to feel like no, we're wait, being- George. My father would say that that is very true of Kimberly Daly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> when I was two, apparently, I decided. When I say, oh, I, when I was 40 years old, I, I, I realized I was unemployable. When my father heard me say that, he was like, uh, Kimberly, <laughs> when you were two, <laughs> we all knew you were the boss of you. <laughs> None of this is a surprise. None of this is a surprise. Grownups need certain things to be present in order to feel, for us to feel like we're getting everything that we want. And so these are transferable for your money, for, for your community, all of it. We need to feel like we are able to achieve mastery over something. So when it comes to money, I need to be able to learn about the fundamentals of money. And that's a lot. There's a lot of moving parts to our personal finances. So we need resources that are there. I need autonomy. I need to feel like I can go about learning this material in the way that I see fit. The reason that high school was sucky for most of us is because we didn't have any choice in how we were learning. Today, that's definitely not the case. We can listen to podcasts. We can watch YouTube videos like Kim Daily TV. We can read. We can get books. We can take courses. We can get masterminds. There's literally an infinite number of ways for us to learn. And then the whole relatedness piece is, 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 is the final piece. We want to feel like we're being supported. And it's kind of a roundabout way to, to answer your question, but that is the unique opportunity from my perspective that companies have is because we have this community built in. We have our employees. We, and, and so it's, it's already there. So how do I plug in resources that an employer can then offer to their employees that tick all those boxes? Um, mastery. So we, 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 we offer online courses that people can take whenever they want. We, we, we offer community resources like monthly workshops that, that people can attend or not attend. We, we, we do something called our monthly office hours where it's just an open opportunity for people to pop into a meeting and get financial questions answered. And so I really designed the platform to be able to be a plug and play for Wherever I am at in my journey with money, if I'm just getting started, if it's my first job out of college or school for that matter, or it's my first job at two years old, like uh, you had, Kim, that that I can that, that I can access resources, or if I'm 65 years old or 70 and looking to retire, there's also resources for the for for me there too, and so it's kind of a, a used up term that you want to meet people where they are. It's definitely the truth because we all have different financial experiences or experiences with money. Uh, some of us really love it. Some of us are scared to death of it. Some of us just hate it. So wherever people are at, I work to try and just give people what they need. And so I think the real answer to your question is it's 100% ongoing. So we're always yeah. doing new stuff and trying different things just because 
We're trying to be of service and actually help people to get good at money so they can live how they want. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're ready to take the first step in exploring franchise opportunities, please reach out right now. My franchise consulting services cost you nothing. Email me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. Now, back to the show. I love everything you just said. What's so great is I'm listening to you. So in franchising, we use this expression, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm like totally taking this whole thing. So you can be the CFO of your life, of your own life, and it's for you, but it's not all alone. Like you're not trying to figure out how to do it. You've got a community of resources and George and his team to help you learn on your own because there's that accountability, self-empowerment that Kim Daly is all about preaching to people. Um, But you can learn at the pace that's comfortable for you with the questions that you have at the time that you have uh, through his resources. That's just as amazing. It's like a franchise for financial fitness. (laughs) I mean, that's really great. It's a a community. It's a really great way to think about it. Yeah, that's so applicable. So... Okay. So where do I begin? So let's say like, okay, I'm a business owner, George. I, I just said yes to my business. I'm you're, you're inspiring me. What's the first thing that I do? Yeah. So it's not the, there is a lot of exciting stuff happening. There's something called the secure act 2.0 that just got passed in, uh, in, in, and went into law actually offering a tax credit for all the expenses of starting up a 401k. So it's a dollar for dollar tax credit. So for a franchise, as I'm just getting started, I can offer a 401k to my employees or to me for essentially free. So that's new and I think pretty exciting. It it there's still complexity and it's still a little bit confusing, but that's a great starting point. Um, the thing about Money Alignment Academy, you don't need a 401k. It is really a financial resource that you're offering to employees. So that is something that uh, that I work with a lot of franchises on is just putting that into place at your company. And it's a great employee benefit at a pretty low cost. Um, so those are those are two ways. But I think just having the desire and the intention of I am going to really help position my employees for success because my human capital is the most important resource to me. So that's awesome. the people that, that that I'm working with. And what can I do? to make sure that I can get great employees. And then once I get them, that I can hold on to them. Yes, because in this day and age, I mean, it used to be three, four, five years ago in franchising, everybody was like, how are you going to help me find customers? And then like the pandemic happened and everybody's like, how are you going to help me find the employees I need, right? Because where are all the people? So having additional resources available to you to help you um, keep those people, those great people that you've invested in that you're training. I mean, that's that's going to be gold to a lot of people that own a franchise business. I love it. Where can people find your book? Wait, the book is called Be Your Own CFO, A Business-Like Approach to Your Personal Finances. Where can we find your book? Get that on Amazon. Amazing. We will put that link to the book in the description below this video. And so, George, I mean, I know you're on Instagram because I follow you there. You come up almost first every time in my feed. But where is the best place if people are inspired by this conversation, want to learn more about the Money Alignment Academy or just more about how you could help them as a business owner? Where do they find you? Moneyalignmentacademy.com. That sounds amazing. It's on your screen right now. It'll be in the description. George G., thank you for being the special guest of Kim Daly today. Thank you so much for having me. It was fun. I love to see your face. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into this episode. And until next time, my name is Kim Daly, and I want to be your daily coach. If you found this inspiring, please contact me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My consulting services are totally free to you. Again, that email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. I can't wait to hear from you.